guys! So today I'm going to be filming the I Heart Fall tag and I was actually tagged which was really exciting. Ah. I was tagged by Miss Jen Fabulous so I will be linking her in the down bar. She's amazing. I'm sure you guys have heard of her because her nail tutorials are phenomenal. So if you miss my nail tutorials go visit hers because hers are 10 times better than mine would ever be. Yes. I was really thrilled when she came up with this tag because let's be honest fall's pretty awesome but winter is where it's at my heart's with winter but I I well I don't know I really like fall too I just don't like summer and spring mm -mm. Mm -mm. I like October and December and November October November December smart child right here <laughs> yeah so the people I tag will be right here Okay, so I finally pulled up the er, questions on my phone. It took like forever in a day, but anyways, whoa, the lighting, coloring just changed. Okay, so question number one is your favorite fall lip product. BT dubs, I'm cheating a lot in this video, so just, just get used to it. But I have two lip products. The first one is the Inglot Lipstick in 58. They don't have any cute names, but this is what I'm wearing on my lips right now. And it looks really, really dark in the container. But it's definitely a fuchsia, but it's not like extremely bright in your face. I really like it. Um, it's great if you're going out with your friends and you just need to add some color to your lips. This is what I go to. And these are like the little slim shining resembling lip products. I don't really know anything about Inglot, except for the fact that they were eye mats and they're pretty awesome. So for the amount that I paid for this, this was really good, and I think it's very moisturizing and not very, and it does not dry out your lips, which we all know I don't like that about lipsticks. The next product I have is a Tarte and or Glamazon lipstick, and this color is in Playful. I did an entire review of the video before this, which I will link in the down bar, and this one is just the bomb. Dot com. It's my favorite one out of all of them, which was really surprising, and it's just kind of like a dark berry color. Not really a color that I would typically gravitate towards, but it's amazing. Um, I will also, they kind of look similar in colors, don't they? But this one obviously has a little bit more berry to it, and this just lasts on your lips forever. It lasts way longer than the Inglot one. The Inglot one lasts longer than a lot of lipsticks that I own, but this one just stays on your lips forever because it has the Amazonian clay inside of it, which makes it last longer and also moisturizes your lips, but it's $26, so yeah. Question number two is your favorite nail or fall nail polish, and I have two of them classic Sarah. And the first one is Rimmel's Black Satin, which I'm going to be doing an entire video on my favorite fall nail polishes just because we know I'm a huge nail addict and I'm also going to be doing a collection video because I have a ton of nail polish and I really like the way I store it. But this is just a black, cream black color and this is really good nail polish. Rimmel Lasting Finishing Pro is amazing. And then I have OPI Vodka and Caviar, which is just a red. If you've been on my channel for a long time, you know that I think this is the bomb. Dot com. Question three, your favorite uh, Starbucks drink for the fall. Um, I don't really like Starbucks, so moving on. Question number four is your favorite fall candle, and I actually have it right here. And this is the pumpkin cupcake candle from Bath & Body Works. Everybody and their mothers was doing leaves. I'm not the biggest fan of leaves. I think it gives me a headache because it's really, really strong. My mom loves leaves, but I don't love leaves, so I'm just the oddball out of this whole community, but it's whatever. But I really like the pumpkin cupcake. It smells like a cupcake, but pumpkin-y, and I don't really like pumpkin pie, like anything pumpkin-y, but I like the scent of it. But this is so good. It smells... It's got more cinnamon in it than the original cupcake from Bath & Body Works, but I just really like this scent. So if you are in the market for an awesome candle, definitely check out Pumpkin Cupcake from Bath & Body Works. Question number five is your favorite fall scarf or accessory. And I have both because I'm cool like that. So the favorite fall scarf I have is this one right here. Ooh, it's the American flag. Peekaboo. I freaking love America. Every day is a great day to be an American. So this is from Free People. I have Instagrammed the heck out of this scarf just because I wear it so often. And I wear it to school. Like, it looks good with just, like, a gray t-shirt, leggings, and red flats. Like, dress it up, dress it down. It's amazing. And plus, with the elections coming up, you might as well show your U.S. pride. 
I should just do an entire like lookbook based off of America. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Probably gonna do it now for election. Like your election day outfits. I actually kind of like that idea. My favorite fall accessory is surprisingly this watch. And this watch I actually got from Target knowing that I'd wear it, but I didn't know I was going to wear it as often as I do. And this was probably like $12 because I got it when it was 20% off. And it's from Morona, I think is the brand. But it's just like the tortoise shell kind of watch and it's an exact dupe for a Michael Kors watch. Um, I Instagrammed a picture of it and this is just really good for $12. And it's trendy. So... Question six, is haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted corn maze? And um, I've only been to a haunted house, and I didn't really enjoy it because I didn't think it was that scary. But I really want to go to a haunted corn maze. I hear people going there a lot, and I'm like, take me with you, and they don't, biddies. <laughs> Not cool. But yeah, so I'm going to have to say a haunted hayride or haunted corn maze just because I didn't really like the haunted house. Because I feel like the strobe lights, they make me sick. So yeah. Seven is your favorite Halloween movie, and I would have to say it's either Hocus Pocus or Halloween Town, the first one. Um, I mean, I really like both of them, and I've already watched both of them multiple times just because I'm obsessed with it, and in case you didn't know, you can watch them here on YouTube. Not the best quality, but it still works, and I went to go buy Hocus Pocus, and they didn't have it, so that was disappointing, but I think I'll survive. Question eight is your favorite candy to eat on Halloween. Halloween Kit Kats. These are white chocolate Kit Kats and they are the bomb.com. I love white chocolate Kit Kats much better than regular Kit Kats. I just really like white chocolate. I know it's kind of weird. I like white chocolate and dark chocolate, but I like milk chocolate too, but I like those two better, if that makes any sense. But these are my favorite. At least this year they are. I feel like my favorites change year to year, but right now I'm eating these. And they're supposed to be for trick or treaters, but. Sorry, YOLO, so yeah. Question eight is what are you dressing up for as Halloween? That would give away my surprise, so nothing. If you follow me on Pinterest, then you've seen the costume, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I'm gonna leave it as a surprise just because I lack creativity. Okay, and then question 10 is what are your, what's your favorite thing about fall? I really like when the leaves change. I like hanging out with my friends, I like bundling up and layering, but I think I really like the shoes and the weather. Because it's not like too cold, but it's cold, you know what I mean? I, I just really like fall, and I like winter, and I like holidays. So can I just say everything? Yeah? Cool. So that wraps up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys have a wonderful fall. And if you want to, post a video response of you doing the I heart fall tag and I will totes my goats check it out and until next time I will talk to you guys later